In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three trading methods that can bring you from zero coins up to a million, making you a millionaire on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Here comes the money! Here we go! If this video hits 125 likes, I'll make sure to drop a part two later this week as well. And if you guys are enjoying the daily FIFA 22 market videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to support the channel even more, consider joining the channel memberships where you'll get access to a private discord and monthly giveaways and much more. So guys, I'm going to be covering three different budgets in today's trading method video. The first one being a low budget, the second one being a medium budget and the third one being a higher budget one as well. So starting off with the low budget one, we're gonna go with something that I'm sure a majority of you guys probably already know already. And this budget works very, very well for zero to 20K. It's a great way to build up your coins very fast, very quickly, and doesn't require really any trading knowledge at all. And that is going to be the bronze pack method. Super easy and it's literally, the, the trading method is in its name. All you guys are going to be doing is opening up 750 coin bronze packs and continuously doing that by selling the contents inside and you'd be surprised a lot of stuff actually does sell very easily so what you're going to do is open up just the bronze pack and then you're going to go through and check each of the players and what you'll find is a lot of players end up being kind of rare or there's not many of them on the market or they're just expensive so this one right here is a great example there's only one of him on the market making him a more rare card he does sell for 1000 right here so it looks like we can maybe list ours up for 750 coins and try and get them to sell and we can do this with just about every card now some cards obviously won't sell and some packs will end up being duds but more times than not you'll be able to find some cards that actually do end up selling for a good amount like just this card here we look like we could probably sell him for about 300 coins or so and make a nice little profit on him and even this card, there's not many of him on the market and it doesn't look like really there, there's any um, that are at a very reasonable price. So it looks like maybe we can get like 400 coins out of this card. And just like that, we've already made a good profit on this pack. Now, of course, badges, kits, and all that good stuff to sell as well. And another really gem kind of thing that you can pack. French managers actually sell for 5,000 coins in this game right now, just because there's such a lack of them at every tier. The bronze ones sell for a ridiculous amount. Another good thing to look out for is any of these bronze rare cards. These ones usually do end up selling for way more than discard anyways. And right here, we actually got Mira, who obviously, you know, is very hyped up in this game thanks to Danny Aarons. So right there, we can make, we, we probably made about a K and a half on this card, which is really, really nice. And this guy as well looks like he can sell for a couple hundred coins. So right there, we get a really profitable pack. And as I said, not every pack will be super profitable. Sometimes some of them aren't that great and that's okay. But right here, you know, we get really, really lucky and we're able to walk away with some really nice profit. Now, some things to know while doing this method. One, the timing of the market. Obviously, when it's later at night, you're going to end up seeing that there's less stuff on the market and you're actually going to be able to sell some things that maybe you wouldn't during the middle of the day. Another thing to watch out for is the team of the week. Any silver team of the week that has a base card that is bronze means that you can actually pack them in a bronze pack and those sell for I think about 6 or 7k so that's a really nice profit to make off a bronze pack as well so obviously keep an eye out for those too and when we do end up getting league SBCs which should be rather soon any card that's in one of those top leagues or whatever can actually sell for a really good amount of coins and if you guys are doing the bronze pack method beforehand you guys actually might want to end up keeping some of those top tier cards so that you guys can use them later on in league SBCs. And of course, like I said, make sure to check any really cool kits, badges, or anything like that, because you would be surprised. A lot of them actually do end up selling for a little bit, and you can make some really nice coins that way too. So moving on to our second kind of trading method, and it's kind of a sniping filter, kind of not. I know, I know, I, I do give a big stink about sniping filters, and a lot of them are not really great, and there's so many people on them. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is actually a method where you can get a fresh sniping filter every day um, that no one's going to be on it because you're the one that discovers it. So all you guys are going to do at content time 6 p.m. UK, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time is you're going to go to the SBC tab and you're going to see what actually drops, uh, whether it's a player SBC, whether it's, you know, um, a puzzle, a whatever EA decide to drop for that day. What you guys are going to do is go in and you guys are going to go and see what the requirements are. So today we just got Gawson's 
and we can see that he's 83 rated and an 84 rated squad. So I know already that there's going to be a ton of 82 and 83 rated cards that are probably going to go up in price. So what you guys are going to want to do is head over to Footbin and head over to what is called the market tab. And what you're going to want to do is go to the index 81 through 86 and you're going to go and pick the rating that was required for a squad. So typically I'd like to do this with 81 and 82 rated cards. However, 83 is still going to work perfectly fine because they're so low anyways. It doesn't really matter too much. And what you're going to do is actually go right here and find out which cards are the top up or the top down. Now, of course, I am recording this kind of late at night. So, you know, the filters are kind of dying down. But when you do this at 6 p.m. UK and you get a really good SBC or something, you're going to find that fodder shoots up really, really high. This happened the other day with the Foot Heroes upgrade. You guys saw a ton of cards spike up, you know, crazy for a very short amount of time. So what you guys are actually going to do is go and find the cards that are inflated up. Like Canales is 20% up. Usually I like to do this with cards that are 50% up, but just as an example for the video, I'm going to show you guys what he could be do going for right now. So we do know that he goes for 1.3k, which is still kind of inflated for his price. So what we go and do is head over to the transfer market on console, or if you guys are more comfortable, of course, sniping on whatever. I like to go over here, you go and search up his name, and then you go and double check what his price is. So on Footbin, it obviously says that he is selling right now for 1.3k. We go and kind of double check that. So there is a bunch for 1.3. Let's see if any sell for 1.2. There is a couple. So we do know that this card actually does sell for 1.2k. Now what we like to do is go a couple hundred under. So we'll go to 1k. We set our max to whatever. And we just go and keep kind of sniping away. Now I always set a couple hundred under or you know whatever to avoid the EA tax which is 5%. You guys can kind of do your own math. Footbin has built in calculators and stuff like that. Um, but you always set it a little bit under so you can make some profit plus avoid the tax. And so we, as we know, we do know this card does sell for 1.2 or 1.3k. So if we just keep sniping like this, any cards that we do end up winning under 1k will be very good. Now the higher the inflated card, obviously the more that are going to pop up as undercuts. Of course, it being super late at night, it might be kind of hard for me to find a really good deal. But you guys can do this with just about any rating and really any card. Now, like I said, my favorite is to do it with the 81s through the 83 rateds when we do get good SBCs because those cards tend to shoot up the most and they're really, really profitable. And I will say this method actually does work a little bit better on Xbox. Don't get me wrong, it still works fine on anything else, but it does work just a little bit better on Xbox just because it's so good. And as I said, you guys can really do this with any inflated cards, even some of the cards that are top down. So for example, we do know that Rat Romagnoli, it does sell for 2K and he is an 82 rated card, for example. He is a gold common, so not many people are gonna know that this card actually does sell for 2K on Xbox. So this is a good example of finding a card that's kind of inflated in price and we can go and kind of search him up and we'll double check that price that he has. Roman Noli. So we go and check his price and we know that, yeah, he actually does sell for 2K or more. So we can do is set our filter for about 1800 so we can avoid some tax and make a little bit profit as well. And we kind of just keep sniping until they pop up. And you'll find with gold commons at like 6 p.m. or any gold rares, they pop up a lot and a lot of undercuts will. Now, of course, I am recording this at like 3 a.m. UK, so it's not going to be the most um, lively filter. And as I said, this really does work the best. And I would really only do this between 6 and 8 p.m. UK. And really, I wouldn't even start doing this until about 6.15 UK time um, when content drops, just because that way it gives time for some cards to kind of inflate. Footbin can kind of update all the solutions and stuff and prices so you guys can kind of find what the best cards are. But these are some really nice cards that you guys can use. Just find cards that are a little bit inflated higher than say the normal would be. So we know 83s are like discard price. So any 83s that are obviously fodder or something that you see are inflated a little bit more. That would be a good choice 82s 81s especially the 82s and 81s because they're not as needed for sbc so when you find a super inflated card 
uh, you'll find that people usually do a lot of lazy listing and you'll be able to make some really good profit really, really fast. All right, so I did cut it just quickly to when I actually wanna snipe. I did wanna show you that this does work. And we did just get this one for 1.6K as you guys can see here. I'll actually just list him up for 1900. He'll obviously sell at 2K if I wanted him to, but I'm gonna list him up at 1900 just so he sells for the sake of the video. And you guys can see that this does work. And of course, you know, it becomes extremely, extremely profitable when you guys do this at a prime peak time. So finally for our third and last method, and you guys can do this with really any budget over 100K, I would recommend. Um, but this is going to be flipping cards during promo panic. Now, of course, you guys can flip cards uh, any time of the day, um, but this one I want to really just focus on a certain time, and that's whenever we get a ton of panic or you see the market kind of dropping a lot. Because when these markets do drop, you guys find that these could be the best buying opportunities. As seen here with this Vinicius Jr., I saw that he actually ended up falling down to about 190k during the content time on Xbox, and he's actually a very unique one. Um, but I ended up seeing him go back up to about 205k. I got very greedy and started listing him for a little bit higher um, when I really should have took my profit, but I got lucky that one sold. However, I did hold a couple more and he actually ended up coming back down a significant amount. Wah, wah, wah. But you guys can do this with really any card. I've showed you guys day in and day out that I do this all the time with Mo Salah. And I'm actually doing it with Trent right now. I picked him up at 195 during the panic earlier today uh, or earlier yesterday for the promo. And I'm actually going to be able to sell him for 215 in about 45 minutes when he unlists. Um, but, you know, again, another really nice quick sale. And you guys can do this during any promo as well. So I'm going to show you guys what to kind of look for during this time. So obviously at 6 p.m. UK, when a promo comes out or whatever content comes out that's really causing the market to come down, this would be like an icon pack or the foot heroes pack, for example. Um, what you're going to see is a certain card type kind of drop down. So obviously today we did get these promo packs. We got 50 K's and then 25 K's um, at 6 p.m. UK. So a lot of people were opening packs and we're seeing a ton of supply kind of come onto the market. And with the supply, we did just see a bunch of panic as well. And as you guys can see by the index 100, the index special, the index gold, we saw kind of a big dip kind of come down into the market. Now the index gold isn't the greatest example and the index special will probably be very flat as well. But oftentimes what you'll see is that there's actually kind of this rebound period. And right here, the index special kind of shows it much better. As you guys can see, there was this initial dip between the first kind of half hour, an hour of the promo coming out. And what ended up happening is for the rest of the evening, the cards only went up. Now, obviously they're starting to fade back down a little bit. And that's just due to the fact that, you know, it is 3 a.m. UK while I'm recording this video. So there's not much demand on the market right now. But this is something you guys can do literally every promo. It happens every time there's panic on the market. There's a big dip and then, you know, it kind of just rebounds. And the best thing to kind of do is just time the bottom. So with no lightning rounds right now and only promo packs every Friday, that kind of bottom ends up coming between 6.30 and 7 p.m. UK. It's a really easy time and it happens all the time and it happens on almost all cards. Now the cards you guys really want to look into are any out of pack special cards. Uh, these are the cards that tend to do the best. So whether it's icons, whether it's t old team of the week cards or old promo cards, these cards always move the most and they're the most profitable. So these are always the cards I'm looking for. A few gems that have worked very, very well for me this year. First and foremost, Salah. Um, I've done it a few times actually with Sun. And icons all the time work so well during 6 p.m. UK times, uh, especially on promo days. They work amazing. They dip so much. And then the entire icon market, as you guys can see, just completely rebounds up. And it happens literally every single time. Now, of course, you guys do have to kind of keep in mind about overall trends. So obviously icons overall have gone down very much. So you guys really want to sell quickly for profit. Uh, usually if you don't sell by 10 or 11 p.m. UK, you will end up losing coins. And that's what happened to me with Vinicius. I knew he went up. He did go up and I had profit in my hands, but I decided to be kind of greedy. I held on and I tried to sell them for just a little bit more I ended up paying a price for it when I really shouldn't have. I should have just sold at his current market price. And that's why you guys kind of have to pay attention to the overall market trend too, because obviously the market overall was going down and I knew Vinicius overall was going down because he did have a second inform. Uh, so that was kind of a dumb idea for me. Um, but you guys always got to keep these other factors in mind too. Um, when flipping these cards, it's always about trying to be quick. 
don't try and squeeze out as much profit as possible. Just try and get in and out for you know a decent percent because those small profits they do end up adding up in the end as i said if you guys do want to see a part two for this make sure you guys drop a like on the video if this video does get 125 likes we will of course make another one and if you guys have any questions about what was gone over today please drop them in the comments these are three really really good filters or methods or whatever uh, they all work very well and it's usually my go-to when it comes to building up to a million coins and you guys really are going to make a ton of coins doing this fast. Uh, if you guys are starting with a very low budget, like I said, I recommend doing the bronze pack method from zero to like a 50k or so. And then doing that sniping filters method every day from 50 to 200k or so, 250k. And then just kind of trading and flipping cards. It's really that easy to do. And I'm telling you guys, just follow these methods. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could do the bronze pack method the entire way. And you'll eventually hit a million coins. Same with the sniping filters one. All these filters can help you make a million coins, of course, as long as you spend them wisely and all that good stuff. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's much appreciated, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.